Now we move our coverage from Flint to Ann Arbor. That's where a group of protesters are calling for Governor Snyder's arrest. 7 Action News reporter Jane Park is there with the very latest. Jane? Well, yeah, you guys, just take a look at this behind me. This is happening right here on Main Street in front of Governor Snyder's downtown condo. These protesters, at least 100 of them, I would say, just walked five blocks from campus holding posters, calling for Governor Snyder's arrest, calling for him to step down, challenging him to drink the water in Flint. They say Governor Snyder knew about this lead contamination long before he acknowledged it, certainly long before he declared uh, a state of emergency back on January 5th. Now, some of these protesters are from all over the state. They say they're here to show solidarity with the people of Flint. It feels personal and it, it makes us all, people who are you know, in Flint and people who are tied to Flint, uh, very, very angry. They're poisoned. Now, at the very best, they're going to go through a lot of very difficult times to try to get that let out. A lot of these protesters contend that had this happened elsewhere, the governor would have acted much sooner. They say he knew about uh, this lead contamination and didn't act soon enough. A lot of these protesters say they will be back in Lansing tomorrow ahead of the governor's state of the state address to protest there. For now, we are live in downtown Ann Arbor. Jane Park, 7 Action News. Jane, thank you for the live report. Stay with